Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Minterburn Presbyterian Church for our harvest service. We're very excited to be here, and we're very excited that the Sunday School is going to open the service for us, and then later on, the Reverend Pat Kenny Hammond, the Rural Chaplain for the Presbyterian Church of Ireland, he's going to come and he's going to speak to us. But first of all, let me hand over to the Sunday School.
your goodness to us. Even as we look around the church, Lord, we see signs and, and remembrances of how good you are to us, of how, care, how you care for us. And as we think, Lord, outside this building of the land, and the rain and the soil and the crops and the animals, and Lord, we realize that even the earth is worshipping you as it faithfully fulfills its purpose. So Lord, thank you for harvest. Thank you for food. Thank you for all the blessings that you shower upon us every day, family and work and homes and church and community. Lord, we see how you provide for us and it is you who provides. So Lord, even as we thank you here this morning, give us hearts of thankfulness and praise and joy at the greatness of the one true God, the creator God, who loves us and cares for us. And Lord, we know that one day, the psalmist tells us, all through the Bible we hear this, that one day all the earth and all its people will worship you because people will come to the one who answers prayers. People will come to the one who forgives our transgressions. People will come to the one who made us and gives us everything we have. So Lord, knowing that, and knowing all that you have done for us, Lord, forgive us for trying to struggle through ourselves, for trying to ply our own furrow, for thinking that all the things we have have been earned by us, that the success of the harvest is because of the work of our hands. Lord, forgive us because we forget it is you who gives the seed and the soil and the rain. Lord, forgive us for thinking it's always on us and transform us through Jesus and his death and his resurrection and help us to see that all of it, all the time, is always and only about you and what you have done for us. So Lord, we take a moment now to come together in prayer using the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now I am going to, I love hearing amens from the, shouting out a little bit from the congregation. We're now going to turn, Penny will be speaking on this later. We're going to turn to Luke chapter 14 and read from verses 15 to 24, the parable of the great banquet. So this is page 1048 on the Pew Bible, Luke chapter 14. And just while we're doing this to warn some of you, um, next Sunday we have Josh McCants coming to speak to us. We're very excited. He's based in Balbriggan and he's been asking me to look for volunteers to help him during the children's address. So just if you find me looking at you beadily, you'll know that's what I'm thinking about. Uh, so uh, really excited about Josh coming next Sunday to speak to us. So hopefully everybody has now found Luke 14 verse 15, and I will read. When one of those at the table with him heard this, he said to Jesus, Blessed is the man who will eat at the feast in the kingdom of God. Jesus replied, A certain man was preparing a great banquet, and he invited many guests. At the time of the banquet, he sent his servant to tell those who had been invited, Come, for everything is now ready. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said, I've just bought a field and I must go and see it. Please excuse me. Another said, I've just bought five yoke of oxen and I'm on my way to try them out. Please excuse me. Still another said, I have just got married, so I can't come. 
The servant came back and reported this to his master. Then the owner of the house became angry and ordered his servant, go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind and the lame. Sir, the servant said, what you ordered has been done, but still there is room. Then the master told his servant, go out to the roads and the country lanes, to the highways and the byways, and make them come in, so my house will be full. I tell you, not one of those men who were invited will get a taste of my banquet. This is God's word. Um, I, oh, yes. <laughs> Christopher is leading the way. For the choir is now going to come and sing to us. <laughs> 